Okay, so sit on your mat, roll your shoulders back, open that chest, neck long. You're gonna bring your arms to the same side as that foot that's crossed over. Do nice long fingers, we're gonna take it to the side. You're gonna kick that leg forward, sweep it all the way back, do a little arabesque, and then sweep it all the way back front, touch the mat. Okay, we're gonna take it a little bit quicker. Ready, here we go, and out. Got it. 
Remember, your chest stays square to the mat, your hips stay square to the mat. What does that mean? It means don't move those hips around, don't contort yourself to try to get in some weird position so that your legs can go all the way up. Okay, you don't need to do that, okay? Just stay with the fire hydrant. The kick is optional. Two more. Last one. Knee, kick, knee, other side. Let's go. Switch right away. No resting. Whew, breathe it. Very nice. If you feel like you can't get any tight in that leg, no worries. That's just a flexibility in your hip flexors. It'll come over now. Very nice. With that toe, let's go. Knees, kick, knee, and in. Push it. Four more. Four. Push, knee, and in. Come on. Out, kick, knee. Last two. One more, one more. Let's do this. Very good. Quick child pose. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and lower yourself onto that mat. Okay, we have got some flutters. So place your chin right on top of your hands. You're gonna lift the quads off the mat. You're gonna kick those heels together and right back out. Okay, let's do this. In, out, in and out. Rest your head, okay? You can place your forehead down. But I'll go for you, but relax the other body. Let's go faster, here we go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Leave that close. Bring up the quads. Squeeze the core. Now, if your hips feel bony, feel free to put a mat, um, like double up your mat, or place a towel underneath. Woo! You know, it's kind of hard to find a clean version of the flow. So here you go. You got the clean one. Woo! Squeeze, squeeze. Give me 10 more. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Come on. 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down. Okay, curl your left toes underneath your heel. We're going to bring up the right foot. Small circles. All right. Keep that glute nice and tight. Oh, yes. And just like any circles that we do, we go the other way too. Are you feeling this? What are you breathing? Oh, yeah. Breathe. Oh my God. Buzz of steel, right? I love it. Reverse. Here we go. And take that circle in the other direction. Now, for some imagery, I want you to think about drawing like a nice red circle or whatever color you like in the air. Okay? Really try to keep it precise. And make your movements precise, sharp. You really are conscious of what you're doing. You're really activating that muscle. Mind to muscle, mind body, you know, whole body. Good. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I want you to hold it. Bring it down. Curl the toes under, other side. Nice, big circle. Now, if you feel like you're drawing any shapes or triangles or squares, it's fine. But at least make those things very precise. Good. Woo! Feels nice to give that other butt cheek a rest, right? Yes. You got this. Squeeze so that core because it's helping you bring that leg up, okay? You're going to go as high as you can without sacrificing the posture of the hips, okay? The alignment will be right on the mat. Right on top. Good. Eight more. This side, same side. And eight, seven, six, five. Keep it high. Four, three, two, reverse. Whoo. Oh, man. You may also feel yourself using your hamstring muscles because you are to move it all around. Holding it up, you're gonna give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One. Bring it down. Okay. Now, go ahead and bring yourself onto your side. You're going to be in a right triangle. We're going to do elevated clamshells. If you feel like your wrist is not strong enough, feel free to stay down for the form clamshells just like so. Okay, but we're taking it up a notch. Hands on the hip. Okay, shoulder right on top of the wrist. Here we go. You're going to open, close. Yes. Bring it out, close it. I mean, hold it and down. Very nice. Let's take it faster. Up and down. Squeeze, release. Keep that oblique straight up. Good. The key to here is to really squeeze, then release. If you don't actively squeeze, you're not getting what you should be getting out this workout. Good. Okay, so this is a dual workout. Bring out the butt and the obliques at the same time. Squeeze and lower. Squeeze and lower. Good. Nine. 